Cool, we're gonna do take two of this since the last one didn't record. Uh, but now that you've set up, um, I'm kind of the last slide and figure out how you want things to work. Um, I'm gonna talk through kind of um, where positioning can be. Uh, and you really have options here. Uh, and we're not gonna dictate how, how you do this. Um, but uh, one thing we will say, and kind of give you permission, which is like, you can position yourself, and you can be sitting in the front of the classroom a lot. So I position the camera just to directly face me. Uh, because I'm going to do a lot of the talking um, and I'm going to be positioned up here so one, I can give kids feedback at home as well as I can give kids feedback in class. Uh, so that's one way you can position uh, because we are suggesting uh, that you take, spend a lot of time, this is a weird suggestion, uh, but you spend a lot of time at the front of, front of the room uh, because all the feedback you're going to be giving is probably on Desmos, etc. You can definitely get up and urgently monitor, uh, but just remember that the student experience uh, on the camera. It will follow you, um, but it is a little bit different. The other thing you can do is you can move your camera, and you can move it all around, uh, and you can kind of see the student experience. Uh, but you can move a little bit at an angle. Uh, and that's if you're planning to move around a little bit uh, and kind of engage with students. Uh, but just know that, uh, and you experienced this when I ran a PD, the student experience is a little bit different uh, when we're doing something like this because you're kind of on and off camera. Uh, so that's kind of what we're suggesting. And then I would take some time to play around with putting things on the smart board, taking things off the smart board. Um, you can definitely extend students. So if you want to share students on the screen, you can definitely do that. Um, so I would just play around with extending and, and presenting, et cetera. One thing we are suggesting, uh, suggesting, not mandating, but the first week, you really focus on the students in your class. So that might mean you launch with kids online, you give them some asynchronous work, and you check in with them at the end of class. We really think setting expectations with the kids in your classroom is important. Your manager, your coach uh, will check in with you about that. That is just in the hybrid setting, uh, and we think that might be important. Um, so I, I would play around with things. I would play around with positioning. I would play around with the cords uh, just to get things um, set up. Um, and then tomorrow, we're going to practice um, with some people in the classroom uh, and some people out so you can begin to get used to kind of how this works. We're looking forward to it. Y'all are going to crush it. Can't wait to see it. Peace.